Hello there, I'm Dr. Samyukta. So hope you're following my uh, Facebook uh, videos. I hope you're actually implementing that uh, and I hope you're visiting Papa Dental, okay? So do visit Papa Dental because uh, we doctors from Papa Dental are going to educate you more and more about your dental problems and we are going to educate you more about the dental treatment which we render here at Papa Dental, okay? So today I'll talk to you about, uh, you know, bad breath, you know? I know how bad it is uh, to even talk about it because I know that you know you people are actually suffering uh, because of bad breath. Okay, let me tell you one thing. There's a good news. That is, you're not the only one who's actually suffering from bad breath. Okay, almost 50 percent of the human populations are actually suffering from bad breath. Okay, so you can actually relax because. Uh, bad breath is uh, one of the most common problems uh, which all of us are actually facing it and uh, the good news, one of the good news is that there is a treatment for it as well, okay? Uh, so first, uh, I'll tell you what is actually causing this bad breath, okay? So one of the most obvious factor is your dental problems, okay? So that's the reason why I'm here to talk to you about bad breath, okay? So what are the dental problems which is actually giving you bad breath? So one of uh, the most obvious factor is improper tooth brushing and flossing okay you're not actually brushing your teeth properly and you're not flossing it properly okay and and when you actually know that you know that this is the factor it's gonna hit you like a brick wall because i know it's very obvious but uh, the most negligent cause okay so what i would expect you to do is uh, brush your teeth uh, twice a day i mean that all the dentists keep telling you but then none of you all follow it okay so i want you to follow that first and after every meal i want you to rinse your mouth with plain water okay so this is your first factor okay so you are not keeping your oral hygiene checked second causes your dental caries you know the tooth decay is actually giving you bad breath and your gum problems is giving you bad breath and ill-fitted dentures and your ill-fitted crowns is giving you bad breath okay and uh, there's something called dry mouth okay so it's called as uh, xerostomia that is actually giving you bad breath so what is xerostomia when there's uh, less saliva inside your mouth that gives you bad breath so because saliva is one of the main factor to keep your mouth healthy okay because saliva acts as a lubricant and it helps in digestion of your food because the first digestion of your food starts inside your mouth and if there's no enough saliva the food is not going to get digested properly and you're going to end up having a bad breath okay so if you guys come to us okay how we are going to help you is we are going to actually find out if the bad breath is actually caused because of your dental problems like if there is a decay we will have to fix it by filling it okay if there is a dental decay what are we going to do is we are going to take x-ray we are going to see if filling or root canal or whatever is required we are going to do that and if there is any uh, stains or if there is any um, uh, gum diseases we are going to do some process called as scaling you know that is a very very simple process which all of us are actually neglecting it but then it's actually giving you a lot of bad breath okay so i want you to get scaling done i want you to get your uh, dk check and i want you to make sure all your crowns and you know dentures everything is filled properly so that it's not giving you bad breath and, in, and, and and if you have dry mouth dry mouth is again caused because of several reasons you know it could be because of medications or it could be because of some uh, syndromes you know which you're actually suffering from so for that uh, you have to check your saliva gland and you have to check your overall health uh, to know what is actually causing and you'll have to of course check your medications like uh, for example antidepressants and antihistamines uh, is going to uh, give bad breath okay the medications also can give bad breath okay so now i spoke about the uh, dental problems which can give you bad breath but uh, but there are other reasons as well okay so you're going to come and you're going to get yourself uh, checked and uh, you make sure that there's no dental problems but still you have bad breath so what could be the reason for that the reason are several okay so the, the reason could uh, stem uh, somewhere deeper in your health issues so what is that it could be because of your sinusitis okay so starting from here so it could be because of your sinusitis it could be because of your throat infection or it could be because of your upper respiratory tract uh, infection or it could be because of your lower uh, respiratory tract infection it could be because of your indigestion okay or it could be because of your acid reflux it could be because of your liver disease it could be because of kidney disease and last but not the least diabetes okay diabetes actually gives you bad breath okay 
So all these things, all your body is, you know, uh, getting affected, and when uh, when then every part of your body gets affected, it end, ends up giving you bad breath. Okay, so there are different uh, odor. Okay, like for example, uh, uh, when people are actually affected with diabetes, uh, they get fruit smell. Why so? Because uh, when there's uh, less glucose in your blood cells, body utilizes fat, you know, uh, for gaining energy. So when fat breakdowns, uh, there's something called ketone bodies which is actually released, and that ketone bodies when it uh, comes out into the blood gives you a fruit smell okay and and even people who are starving and people who are on uh, uh, ketotic uh, uh, diet even they also end up having uh, bad breath okay so now i let's take the systemic causes which is actually giving you bad breath apart from this you have uh, smoking alcohol consumption your diet you know you are what you eat okay so the diet what you're going to consume is directly going to affect your breath okay so uh, uh, food like garlic and onions i mean that you know already i think uh, everybody knows about it that onion garlic is going to give you bad breath so this is something which is inevitable but then the, the things which you can actually avoid is alcohol and you can avoid aerated drinks and you can avoid uh, uh, you know using unnecessary mouthwashes and uh, you can uh, uh, have a lot of apples and you can have a lot of uh, lime juice all these are going to improve your breath okay so smoking yeah I, 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 I have to mention this again because smoking is one thing uh, you know which affects your overall uh, body okay and, and I think uh, everybody knows about it because smoke, smoking uh, cigarettes you know cigarettes have uh, almost like 4000 chemicals in it in which almost like 200 to 300 of them are cancerous okay so every doctor has been stressing upon it you know it's like yeah please please make sure that you quit smoking so these are the some of the factors which is actually giving you bad breath so i don't want you to get embarrassed anymore i don't want your self-confidence to get hampered anymore because we doctors here at partner dental are here to help you okay please do visit us first we will uh, make sure that your dental problems are ruled out okay so once because almost 70 to 80 percent of the bad breath is caused because of your dental problems you know like simple procedures like fillings and you know scalings and uh, properly fitting your uh, crowns will definitely make you get rid of your bad breath okay so hope i have uh, listed a few guidelines about uh, what all might cause bad breath so do visit us uh, once we roll out and once you go out a uh, clean out of the dental clinic then you can consult your uh, general physician to roll out your other causes okay see you again